A plea for help today from the family of a woman who was struck and killed on I-95. The last time they saw her, she was heading out on a date with a man she had met online. Local 10's Sen. Elizabeth reports from Fort Lauderdale. Jennifer St. Clair's family is heartbroken. They are devastated. They're trying to figure out just what happened to her, what went wrong that night in question. Jennifer was full of life. She was silly. She was funny. She was a very sweet girl and would do anything for anybody. With a heavy heart, Jennifer St. Clair's aunt Amy Gamer is remembering her niece killed early Friday morning. Her body found in the southbound lanes of I-95 in Pompano Beach. We're still trying to process all of this. We're trying to get closure. The family is seeking answers. All they know is that sometime Thursday night, Jennifer was picked up by a man she met online. She hopped on his motorcycle, and the pair were also joined by two other couples on motorcycles. They headed out to a Delray Beach restaurant. They left somewhere around 10 o'clock at night. Uh, they were only supposed to be gone a couple of hours. Um, and then the, the, the next thing the family uh, learned was that she hadn't come home and then FHP notified them of this terrible accident. The terrible accident happened as Jennifer was presumably getting dropped off back home. She was back on the motorcycle with the man she met, heading southbound on I-95 and somehow fell off near the Atlantic Boulevard exit. We know that the gentleman who was driving the motorcycle that night left the scene of the accident, left her out in the roadway on I-95. Um, it doesn't get much worse. Numerous vehicles ran her body over. Only three drivers actually pulled over to help and call police. We don't know how anybody could do something like that. That's the hardest, hardest part. It sounds like my niece was left there. She didn't deserve that by any means. According to the family attorney, police may have an identity on the man that Jennifer was with. They have not released his name just yet. But if you think you can help solve this case, any information will help. Give Broward County Crime Stoppers a call. Remember, you can remain anonymous. They can be reached at 954-493-TIPS. That's the latest from Fort Lauderdale. Sonella Sabovic, Local 10 News.